right. Yeah, and it makes me nervous. You know what they say about being nervous, right? You're, you're going to speak in front of a crowd, you feel nervous, all you have to do is imagine everyone in the crowd wearing only their underwear. Your nervousness will go away. So I tried that once. It worked. But then it got really, really horny. <laughs> and cause it, it gets worse because the time that that happened, I was performing in a thing in Ohio. Sorry, classmates. <laughs> Can't help it. Uh, I was in McDonald's earlier, and uh, you know I've got to say I gotta say I hate Happy Meals. I hate Happy Meals because I prefer my food emotionally neutral. <laughs> Why are they happy? That's very very suspicious. Like drugs, pa tong malak nato. Hindi mas paniling nipples ng tao bago ka tayo. Come on, if I was an animal about to be slaughtered for food. I wouldn't be happy. Man, I just want my food dead, cooked, put in a box with a free Kung Fu Panda toy inside. Is that so much to ask? Uh, anyways, uh, anyone here uh, a fan of Agamula? Yeah. Uh, this one's for you. Alright, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I find Agamula to be a very disturbing actor. So if you haven't noticed, uh, in his past three films have been, have been him teaming with an actress half his age. It's like it's like a pedophile, diba? Christine Hermosa, Jerry Panganiban, and Curtis. Who's next? Selena Dalrymple? Yeah! You know, that is a pang chicken joy kid. Yeah, but this time around, Tito Aga will be giving her a different kind of chicken. In a different kind of joy. <laughs> um, obviously, I'm not very tall, and it's uh, very emotionally disturbing. Uh, people don't respect you if you're small. Uh, last Valentine's Day, I was in a bachelor auction. They sold me a half price. Yeah, uh, sympathy. Much better now. Uh, anyways, uh, you're wondering about the outfit. Uh, I'm currently enrolled in Ateneo Law School, and uh, it's, it's a nice school. But what sucks about that school is we have a dress code. It's either you dress up like this, or you wear a barong tagalog. Now, uh, I would never ever wear a barong tagalog. I'd rather wear coat, uh, a, a shirt and a tie, because uh, I think. Uh, Wearing a barong Tagalog wouldn't be very nice for my image. Uh, don't get me wrong, for some people it's very nice for them. Because like I have some classmates, whenever we see them wearing a barong Tagalog, everyone will go like, like, Uy pare, wapo mo, mukhang congressman ha. Talang session. Right? But it's, when it's my turn, they see me, they go like, Uy, mukhang ring bearer. Baka mawala mo yung sing ha. Anyways, it's not as bad as uh, college, I guess. Because in college, uh, in Ateneo, uh, we have this ID rule. They're very, very strict. They see you without an ID. The guard comes up to you and says, uh, Boss, uh, asan yung ID nyo? Pero uh, mo dito. Right? But uh, when it comes to me, I think uh, they're, having, they're discriminating me because I'm short. Because uh, one time, I didn't have an ID. A guard saw me. He came up to me and said, Boy! I was so pissed off, I get in with my Transformers lunchbox. Uh, you know, uh, I've got to warn you guys, who's uh, the So, uh, a word of advice, if you want to keep your car safe, don't use alarms, don't use locks. The most effective way to keep your car safe from car nappers is to park beside more expensive cars. Because there's no way any self-respecting car napper would take my Kia Pride over the F-150 park beside it. You know? Unless mababaw lang yung kaligayaan ng car napper. <laughs> Pag nahuli siya ng police. Oh, ba't mo kinidlap yung Kia Pride? Eh, ba't mo kinidlap yung Kia Pride? Uh, boss, kasi 5,000 lang yung kailangan ko eh. <laughs> and, anyways, uh, guys, uh, I like animals. And uh, my favorite animal is the elephant. 
Yeah. Anybody here fans of elephants? Yeah, because you know elephants are really, really cool. Because their noses are like hands, right? They do just about anything a human hand can do. The only thing is, it's a nose. But then after a while, I realized maybe it's not that cool being an elephant. Because what if you're an elephant and you have to pick your nose? That's very impossible. If an elephant can talk, you say, I'd like to pick my nose, but my hand, it's my nose. <laughs> All right, thank you, everyone. Woo! All right. Woo! Okay, uh, coming up next is uh, a guy who needs no introduction at all. That's why I'm not giving him any. Uh, no, just kidding. Uh, coming up next is uh, a, a guy that you regularly see at Jojo A show. Uh, he's got the shortest last name in Comedy Cartel. But I, I, I assure you, you'll be laughing a long, long time after hearing him tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Stanley Chi. Woo!